It's the enemy! Damn straight, it's the enemy! I'm the enemy of all your enemies! Oh, how did I miss him? I'd be aim of the stormtrooper. Oh, that's so embarrassing. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops. This is one of the Metal Gear Solid games that was made for the PSP back in the day. Foxhound. This game takes place in 1970. It is a direct follow-up to Metal Gear Solid 3 Substance, which tells the story of Naked Snake uh, as he sne sneaks through the jungles in the 70s. Not naked, that's just his code name. Uh, naked Snake is just an awesome code name. Okay, can we just, for, let's just get this out of the way very briefly. I know the, the angry video game nerd, James Rolfe, pointed this out, but Solid Snake, Naked Snake, like, these are kind of inappropriate names, right? Like, what is what is the Japanese translation of Solid Snake, right? Think about that for a moment. Uh, think about it. And anyway, now let's get our minds out of the gutter and move on, because Metal Gear Solid, whatever whatever you want to call the hero, a pant snake or whatever, this is actually an awesome series of games, and I'm very excited to be playing this on the PSP. I mean, I loved Metal Gear Solid on the PlayStation 1. I never had a PSP, so I never tried these games, but this game is supposed to be pretty dang good. So let's go ahead and start a new game here. And wait, what did I just do? Did I exit the menu somehow? Okay, that, that was a little weird. All right, we're going to go ahead and start a new game here. And checking the card. The memory card is A-OK. -okay. Input your m name. You may not use lowercase. Wait, but all the letters... Wait. Wait, I'm, I'm so confused. It said don't use lowercase, but they're all lowercase. What will happen? Will it, like, berate me if I do this? Okay, like, if I just put in J. Oh, it just capitalizes? I, like... <laughs> It like warned me not to use lowercase letters and then it just dealt with it by itself. I, I, I don't know what's happening here. Hold on, but let's if if we can enter our name correctly, let's let's do something better. Okay. I decided that maybe a cool code name instead of being naked snake or solid snake, how about we be snake snake? But I went ahead and tried to enter it and one or more words cannot be used in this game. Damn it, they outthought me. It, snake Snake would be an awesome code name. Forget about Solid Liquid Snake. We're Snake Snake. The most snakiest of all the snakes. All right. Okay, how about Black Python? That's an awesome code name. What? One or more of the words? What? I can't, Python can't be used? Come on. How about Red Cobra? That's an awesome... Yeah, Red Cobra. I was going to say, if it rejected Red Cobra, this game is taking all the fun out of coming up with an awesome spy name. I am the Red Cobra. Gaming J. Oh, what? Wait, wait what? Ah. Oh. Okay, so this is kind of annoying. You have to use X in order to select a letter and O deletes. But once I get out of this, when I'm at the menus, I have to press O to select things and X rejects the option. It's, it's kind of a weird, like, I, I don't know why they do this. Why is O yes? It's just kind of annoying. This game saves data automatically. Do not remove memory stick. All right, I'm not going to yank my memory stick out willy-nilly while we're in the middle of saving things. That's not the Red Cobra's way. Okay, so let's go with... Okay, I've never played this before, and in the interest of... So we're today we're just exploring the game. We're going to play around with it. You know, obviously I'm not going to beat the game with you guys today. Um, and, you know, really in this 1001 series, you know, if you're just joining us, the whole point of this is that we're working our way through the book of 1001 Video Games with Play Before You Die, and we're just kind of exploring each of these games, seeing kind of what they're like. So this is kind of a cool change to uh, Metal Gear Solid here on the, the PSP. So normally Metal Gear Solid has fully rendered animated uh, cutscenes. That was like a big thing in Metal Gear Solid, even the Metal Gear Solid days. But obviously the PSP could not handle such renderings. So instead they had to use these sort of faux comic book panel things. And it's actually really cool. I was expecting total stills, like in Max Payne, but this is like kind of animated. It, it's kind of neat. Like it's not animated. Technically, it's still framed comics, but they're sort of moving characters in the background independently. Um, I think that's all pretty cool. The other main addition to this game is that it's going to actually feature squad-based mechanics instead of going into 
Mission Solo. Um, now, I'm not actually not really paying attention to the story here. Maybe I should be paying attention to it. But I guess Snake is in jail somehow, and somebody's going to free him. Now, this, you know, spoiler alert, if you don't want to be spoiled about the plot of Metal Gear, skip ahead for just, like, a minute here. But Snake here, this is not the same Snake that we saw in Metal Gear Solid. This is actually Naked Snake, and it turns out that Naked Snake was the original Snake, and a clone of him was used to create the, the first person we would come to know as Solid Snake in the later games. This is why Snake exists in the 70s. And this Snake here, and, and by the way, I might be getting some of this wrong. It's been a long time since I looked up my Metal Gear Solid um, you know, history. But this is what I remember from reading it about it years ago. But anyway, this Snake would eventually become Big Boss. So he would be the bad guy in the original Metal Gear uh, game, I believe for NES or actually no, the, the NES one was a bastardization of the uh, original games that were released in, on Japanese PCs. Anyway, long story short, this guy is Snake, sort of, but eventually he'll become the bad guy. But oh, we just need to know him as Snake. Um, and we just get to see him in these awesome cutscenes, imagining women he's loved, people he's sniped. And uh, stuff is happening. I wonder if we can actually skip this cutscene. We can! All right, so stuff is happening. They have to call Snake out of retirement. And here he is. Now, he's not totally naked, and I will say I'm semi-disappointed. But I guess he's naked enough. So let's see here. Um, oh, look, and he has an eye patch. This is Pirate Snake. He's known as the Red Cobra. Um, all right, so we have to figure out a way to get out of here. So notice this is a different radar than we've seen in Metal Gear Solid. Ooh, doing a bit of a barrel roll. So you can kind of see what direction sounds are coming from and stuff. That's actually pretty cool. Um, I have no items to speak of. The door is locked. So that's your name, huh? It's got a nice ring to it. Who are you? Snake always has such an awesome voice. It was like David Hayter, I think, did the voice acting for Snake. I'm just a prisoner like you. Looks like Owen Wilson. Like, maybe we're going to team up Zoolander style. I'll be Derek Zoolander. He'll be uh, Hansel. And we'll go take down the fashion industry. American! How did an American like you end up in a prison like this? You're not American, man? Accents don't really translate into the written word, I suppose. He could have a really funky accent. How, how would we know? Uh, but never mind that. Don't you want to get out of here? I do. You know a way? Take a good look under the bed. See that duct? The cover comes right off. You can go through. Wow, that's the most insecure prison cell ever. Because I'm the one that took the cover off. Whoa. But as luck would have it, they moved me to another cell right after that. So I never got a chance to use it. Wait, so you took the cover off, then just sat around? for? You didn't instantly leave the prison? There's something wrong with that. If you make it out, will you do a fellow prisoner a favor? A favor? Don't worry. You'll get something out of it, too. Well, all right. It's not so much of a favor as it is a bit of a bartering exchange, then, but I will take it. Didn't even ask what the favor was. I guess I was not interested. But, okay, let's see. How do we... How do we duck? All right. Crawling on our belly like the Red Cobra that we are. We didn't get the name Red Cobra by being stealthy in the field and murdering... Actually, Red Cobra sounds like the kind of guy who would murder a lot of people in the field. All right, can we get out here? Okay, I guess not. I will say that I don't really know what any of the buttons are, so I'm uh, really just sort of winging it here. Hey, there just happened to be some bullets next to a toilet. I will go ahead and take that. Does it come with a gun? Does it come with a gun? Oh, and there's a stealth suit. Man, somebody left all their equipment in the toilet. Are they just, like, running around in their boxers? Like, what happened? Aromatic polymide. This is the Fox unit's new sneaking suit. What's this doing here? I I suspect I will encounter a naked fox unit operative hanging out. I will encounter naked puma. Naked snake meets naked puma. All the fox operatives are nudists. Um, oh, we can, like, fast forward it. That's cool. So, okay, something about the equator. There's, like, Russians involved. Fark. I mean, one other thing about the Metal Gear Solid series. I will say that even Metal Gear Solid, the first one, kind of had long cutscenes. But they were reasonable. They kind of pushed the boundaries of getting a little too long at times. But Metal Gear Solid 2, I remember playing that on PlayStation 2 when it first came out. And its cutscenes were insanely long to the point where it was, like, excessive. Um, I think the later games toned it down a bit. But as you just saw there, like, that was probably, like, a 10-minute cutscene that we just fast-forwarded through. So if you are curious about what it is, you can uh, 
you know, go and rewind the video and sort of slow it down and, and read that stuff if you're curious. But uh, all we need to know today is that we're some kind of operative breaking out of prison and uh, we're going to do our best. So you've been out of action for a while, haven't you, Snake? Now would be a good time. Hey, this is Roy Campbell. Wait, he's Roy Campbell? Whoa, he's the one who's going to be given Solid Snake his mission in Metal Gear Solid, the first one for the PS1. Wow, so many references to the to the original game so far. Um, get reacquainted with your weapons. I'll help you out. Thanks, man. You're like you're, you're already taking on your role as a mentor. First, equip a weapon. This will bring up a list of carried weapons. Use the directional buttons to select. I'm gonna select the MK22 to use a weapon. Press the L button. Ready the to, uh, to ready the weapon, then X to f or sorry, s square to fire. All right, so we go. Huah! We just snipe the wall. Good, you got it. Next, let's do a first person attack. Press the R button to ready the weapon and the square button to fire. Use the analog stick to aim. While aiming, you can press the L button to get. Oh God, it's getting complicated. Okay, so that's the first person mode. That's about that about does it for weapons. Um, oh, and before I forget, do you know about the radar in the upper right corner of the screen? That's your surround indicator. It keeps you informed of sounds in the surrounding area. The outer ring displays sounds you hear around you, the inner ring. That's actually really, that's a really cool feature, actually. Really neat way to do the radar. That means enemies near, uh, the enemy is near. If you make a sound, that'll be all over you. Okay. So, yeah, we can, like, aim like this. Oh, that's pretty cool. I think we can, like, move as well. So you can get a bit of first-person shooting in here if you want. Now, all right. How do we get out of here? Okay, so there's enemies kind of like up this way. How, how, can I sneak? No, he just wants to run everywhere. He's not very good at sneaking this one. Hey, there's the, the prison that I... The, the room I was just in. Hold it! You can't just dash blindly into plain view. You've got to check to make sure it's safe first. There should be a guard outside to the left. You need to make your exit. Well, that guard isn't looking your way, right? So use the wall to press and then peek. Face the wall and then move towards the wall and press triangle button. Then while you're pressed against the wall, hold the button down to make your way slowly towards the exit. Okay. So. Wait, get, get, okay, there we go. No, wait, get on the wall. Get, get on the wall, get on the wall, get, get on the wall. Get, get on the wall. There we go. Now hold the button to sneak. Oh, okay. So I'm not on the wall at all. There we go. Oh, I can, like, peek around corners like a stealthy little ninja. All right. I'm going to get off this wall. Hey, you're pretty good. Now head for the communications base. Use the triangle to open any doors you encounter. All right. Blah, blah, blah. Goals marked with an X. All, I also seem to remember there being an electronic gate along the way. If you're careful, I think you can sneak past it. You know how to crawl, right? I'm <laughs> yeah, I know how to crawl. Uh, should I say legendary soldier? No, man, call me the red freaking cobra. I don't know where you went, but I don't appreciate you coming up with new nicknames. Legendary soldier is definitely not my call sign. I'm the one they call the Red Cobra. Oh, oh, damn it, he saw me. <laughs> that was the worst sneaking ever. Oh, maybe I'm not as legendary as it seems. Let's headshot this guy. HQ. Uh oh, he's calling for backup. This is patrol. Oh, no, I'm aiming at the ceiling. No, he called backup. Where is he? Where'd you go? Oh, you jerk. Oh, you son of a. Oh, my God, I can't even hit this guy. Okay, hold on, line it up. Oh, stop moving. There we go. All right, we killed him. Oh, there's another one. Hopefully, it's just you. Oh no, there's like three of them. All right, we're we're just going. We're going full commando mode on this one. Arnold would be proud. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, it's so hard to aim. So hard to aim. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Oh, he knifed me. Wait, the guy I shot had Z's coming out of his head. Did he like fall asleep? Okay, uh, we can do better. I feel like I'm happy that mission went that way because it's kind of like that's, you know, it, it can't get much worse than that. So I think we did. I think we did just okay. I think we did just fine. Okay, can can you get off your belly there for a second, there, Snake? Stand up. Okay, let's just get out of here. 
All right, we gotta equip a gun before we can do anything. Let's get our gun equipped. Now let's sneak up against the wall here. Okay, so when the guard is not looking, that's when we will sneak our way past. Ah, see, that was my critical mistake, is just blatantly sort of like walking into his line of sight. We'll bide our time for a second here. We'll play this game of stealth. So the Metal Gear Solid games are obviously a game of like action. Oh, God. <laughs> game of action stealth. Like, how does he not see us? Okay, there we go. And now we can like just sneak away. And he will never be the wiser. Get in here. All right, I think we're safe. Let's just see real quick. Can he see us? He's so dumb. He's the dumbest of all the dummies. All right, sneaking around. So the Metal Gear Solid games are a game of sneaking and stealth. I actually kind of prefer Metal Gear Solid's third person view compared to this first person because I feel like it's a lot harder to kind of like see around corners and stuff. Uh, here we go, let's do this. Okay, there's no one over there. We're, we're in the clear. But I mean, I guess this is far more realistic. I mean, if you were really sneaking around, you would have to kind of like peek around corners. Okay, there's like no one here except that one dude. I wonder if we can, like, kill him. We could just, like, snipe him from behind. Uh, let's... Like, I keep having to rotate. The camera is is not very good at, like, manually rotating where it needs to go. And should we try and snipe this guy? Snipe this punk? Like, one good bullet could end him. I'm, I'm so tempted. I'm so tempted. Maybe... Let, let's do it. I mean, they don't call us the Red Cobra for nothing. We're totally going to try and kill this guy. It might be a terrible, terrible mistake. But I think we can do it. Okay, you guys ready for this? This is how we do. This is how the Red Cobra do. <gasps> yeah! We, yes. No survivors. We don't leave any witnesses. Can I? What? He's sleeping. He's catching some Zs. No, that was, you see, that was a shot to the base of his skull. If he does wake up, he will be paralyzed for the rest of his adult life. Also, why can I not take his his uh, machine gun? I should be able to, damn it. All right, sneak, sneak, sneak. So I guess we have to go under that gate. That was what we saw when Campbell was talking to us. I'm pretty sure we can't open these doors. Oh, we totally can. Is there anything in here? I feel like I'm just walking in blind, I don't know. Like I can't, I can't peek past those doors, okay. So there were two Metal Gear Solid games for the PSP before this game came out, and they were both actually sort of tactical games. They weren't; they were they were turn-based tactical games. They were not action stealth games like this. And actually, like when I first read that, I thought, oh well, maybe they they weren't regarded very well. But I looked up, and actually, they were they were fairly well regarded. Um, oh, these are locked doors. I know that like ba bap sound. Um, and actually, I think that's pretty cool. Oh look, there's a guy there. I do remember that, or not remember, but I do know that, like, interestingly enough, like, I never really played the Hitman games, but there is a mobile version of Hitman that is, like, a turn-based uh, board game, essentially. Um, it's like a puzzle game, almost. And that game is, like, surprisingly good. And we're gonna put this guy to sleep, too. Here we go. You will forever sleep the eternal slumber. Enjoy, punk. Can we grab this guy? I know, like... Wait, is that... That's just, like, punching the guy. Okay, sneak up behind them and, like, clobber them on the back of the head. Hold on. How do we... There's usually a way to, like, pick guys up. Or maybe we could just teabag them. <laughs> Here. Oh, I can't, I can't even crawl over him. I want to, like, crawl on him. I thought it'd be funny. All right. Well, here. Um, you know, there you go. I don't know. We're, we're kind of teabagging him. Not really, but okay. Um, but yeah, I, I thought that was cool. I'm kind of curious to try the, the turn-based Metal Gear Solid games at some point. Um, I don't know when I will actually try them or if I will, but uh, I do know that the, the Hitman game that is turn-based is actually pretty fun. It's one of the few games I would consider like a good mobile game. Um, oh man, look at this guy. We call him Prey. Okay, hold on. There we go. We gotta line this shot up. Okay, he's moving a little too much. 
Don't mind me. I'm just casually... There's no one here to see. Don't look in my direction. Don't look at me. You don't see me. There's no one here. I think he is almost looking at me. There we go. <laughs> Took a long time to line up that shot, but it was totally worth it. All right. Sleeping again. Nothing but Zs. Are you serious? Did they, like, censor this game? They're like, Snake can't kill people. What if he shoots sleepy time bullets out of his gun? Oh, shoot. That was a guy. Uh-oh. We gotta, we gotta run. We gotta hide. The only... I know in Metal Gear Solid... Oh, shoot. He's calling for backup. Damn it. They're gonna find all these guys asleep and be like, Who the hell did this? Uh oh there's a guy coming from that way, too. Shoot. Okay, keep keep going, keep going. Oh shoot, there's a guy over there too. Oh no, don't roll! Ah, oh, get down. Hide. Get under the things. Okay, this is how you do it in Metal Gear Solid. You just stay hidden. And that the the enemy has an attention span of about Oh, son of a bitch. They still see me. Of about uh 90 seconds, after which they kinda get bored and they're like, well, I guess it was nothing. But this is this is not good. Maybe could I run back to my cell, do you think? That would keep me hidden. There, look. That guy saw me crawl under here, and he's like, huh. But he hasn't come out for about 90 seconds. He must be gone. He must be dead or something. Damn it, he sees me. Or somebody does. Okay, let's... En enough, uh... Oh, my God. Get off the ground, Stan! Oh, they no, get off the ground, you freaking idiot! Stand! Oh, the controls are so bad! Stand! Run! Oh my god. Let's just freaking kill this guy. Oh, there we go. All right, we put a guy to sleep. He will forever dream of the day he met Solid Snake. It was a pretty embarrassing day for Snake. Okay, can we hide in the bathroom? For the love of God, let us hide. Oh my god, we're hiding by the urinals. We, we've, we've been reduced to this, guys. We need a box. That's what we need, is a box. A box will keep here. us hidden. Son of a bitch, run, run. Nope, get down. Like, when I want him to duck, he just does barrel rolls. Stop trying to impress me, snake. Just, like, run away. Run away. Okay. I think we have finally... All right. They're like... Maybe we just dreamed that Snake was here. We've lost sight of the enemy. Commence alert oh God, I can't see anything with these weird camera angles. Okay, there's like a guy behind me and like in front of me. Oh my God, 90 seconds. It takes them forever to lose interest in me. It was just, I, I need a box. I, I totally need a box. That's how Snake hides in this world, through boxes. Okay, let's... What if we go in this room over here? I think this will be pretty good to keep us safe. All right, we can continue to, to chat while the enemies slowly lose interest in us. Man, I you know what? I am not a fan of this like third person mode. I'm just like not used to like having to like check behind every corner. Also, look, he kind of stands like a T-Rex. Look at his arms right there. He sort of it's kind of like a weird. He does not look intimidating. He and look at his arms. He's really muscular. He's big. He's a big guy, but he's kind of standing like I'll say it like a sissy. Anyway, yeah, tactical game, Metal Gear Solid games for the PSP. Uh, they're pretty well regarded, so I'm kind of curious because, uh, again, for the Hitman series, the turn-based version of that is actually pretty fun. So I'd recommend looking that up. I think it's a free app or else it's just a couple bucks, but it's worth checking out if you're curious. All right, so I think they have finally lost interest in me. They're like, well, I guess we'll never see him again. Okay. So now we can go back to... Okay, so basically they all just reset when that happens. So when you screw up on the level... You basically got to do it all over again. So they woke that guy up. So we're going to go ahead and put him back to sleep with a headshot. <laughs> Two headshots in one day. I wonder if like later on he goes home to his wife and she's like, how was your evening, honey? And he's like, well, I was shot repeatedly in the back of the head. That part of the day was not fun. But we didn't catch the intruder, so that also was not fun. Oh, look, that guy's still unconscious. I wonder if they, like, stay unconscious for a set period of time, which makes me wonder, like, is this guy about to wake up? Because that would not be cool. Okay, let's, let's, let's be very careful here. Okay, peeking around corners. Okay, let's do this. We're going to slowly crawl here. We can see what's going on here. Okay, so there's a dude hanging out in there. That's the jerk that saw me. We're totally going to get past him, though. See, like, it's really hard to see around the corner. I totally went around that corner blind. 
Like, third person is even worse than first person. If I was first person, at least I could see where I'm going. But, like, third person, like, Solid Snake, when he turns around this corner, if there's someone there, he will see it before I do. Because, like, my camera... Like, he should be able to see around the corner right now, but I can't. Like, the camera behind him is not following him very well. I don't know. Camera controls in this game, I will say, are a little annoying. It makes it kind of hard. Like, for a game about stealth, you would think the camera controls would be, like, right on the mark. Because, like, you kind of need them to be. But I don't know. Maybe we should snipe that. Maybe we should shoot that guy before. Hey, look. Is that the exit? Maybe we should just go for it. Maybe. I don't know, though. I, it, it's like, oh, there's a guy. He's totally awake right there. No, the, you, you see nothing. You see nothing. All oh, the hell with it. Let's just run for the exit. No, get off the ground, Snake. You idiot. No, get. Stop doing crunches. Stop doing squats. Okay, we're just going for it. This is it. Ah, I don't even know how to run. I, I think he's running. I think this is him in run mode, but we're just going for it. Enemy sighted. To hell with it. <laughs> okay, we passed the level. Somehow, some way, somebody was looking out for us and we passed the, the freaking level. Man, in Metal Gear Solid 1, I had no problem avoiding uh, the guys. Like, the radar made it very easy to avoid guys. It was very fun to, like, you know, avoid them and sneak around them and stuff. But, like, this is actually, like, surprisingly hard. Um, I kind of feel like the sneaking mechanics that Metal Gear Solid 1 started were really perfected in the Batman Arkham games. And I feel like the sneaking mechanics here, I don't like as much. Like, um, in Batman, you don't have a radar where you can see where everyone is, but it's much easier. The camera controls are much, make it much easier to see, like, where guys are. I, I find, I find. Maybe I'm just more used to that game. Anyway, um, that's a dish antenna for satellite communications. This must be the communications base. The communicator I'm looking for is in that building. Oh, wait, what is Snake supposed to... Oh, <laughs> sorry, Snake, what's your mission again? I totally forgot, dude. I have not been paying attention. Oh, there's, like, a dude, like, right there. How does he not see me? Like, these guys literally have terrible eyesight. Okay, hold on. Can we switch to our gun? You know what? I want to... I want to, like, melee him. I wonder if we can, like, grab him. Okay, this is the beginning of the level, so I'm not too worried about, like, kind of dying at this point. But hold on. Let's, let's see. So he looks over here. And then he looks back. Ah, oh, shoot. And he saw us. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Run, 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 run! <laughs> He's like, what is that? Some kind of fuzzy human, human-based shape. Could that be an intruder? Oh, no, I guess it was just the wind. It seemed to run away from me when I approached it. Just my imagination. I imagined a full-grown human spy standing 10 feet away from me. Yeah, it's a good imagination there, buddy. All right, is there any... No, I guess I got to go in the front way to get this guy. I mean, shooting him would be the easy way, but I, I just... I, I really want to try this, like, melee stuff. Oh, shoot. Uh-oh, uh-oh. He hears me. <laughs> I, like, I can't even see where he is. Oh, the camera controls. Okay, there he is. Maybe we can, like, lure him this way with the sounds. Man, th th they need to invest in simple eyewear, simple glasses for the terrorist guys. Because, like, this is, like, embarrassingly bad. All right, we are, we successfully snuck in past the fence. Let's see what we got going on here. So there's a lot of trenches and stuff. There's that dude. We, <laughs> we, we accidentally led him away. It turned out to be not very hard to... Oh! Was that a gunshot or just the door opening? I think it was just the door. Okay, that spooked me for a second there. Oh, yeah, it's, it just makes like a, a gunshotty kind of sound. This is the guard's sleeping quarters, I guess? Okay. Oh! Oh! Can we get a box? Give, give me a box! Dump this box on the ground, Snake! Snake needs a box! Snake who needs a box who... Okay, it is stupid to not have our gun equipped, so let's just go ahead and equip that. Um, there's maps. Oh, there's a, a a thing right there. Okay, I did a thing. Hey, look, and here's the traditional kind of solid snake radar. Does anybody read me? This is Snake. If anybody can hear this, please respond. The hell with it. My code name is Snake Snake. It wouldn't accept it in the game, but for our purposes, this is Snake Snake. Snake! It's you, Snake! Is it you? Is this the real naked snake? <laughs> I could show you if you want, if you want to see. Um, that voice, paramedic? 
It's me. The paramedic? That's her name? That's such a generic name. Uh, I guess it's like being named Baker or whatever, Smith. It's been a while, huh, Snake? It's good to hear your voice again. Same here. It'd be even better if it weren't in a god for this godforsaken place. You're still using this circuit? Major Zero kept it just in case. He said that you were safe. You might use it to contact us. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so they're having a little bit of a heart-to-heart -heart here. Um, going on and on about things. Um, so this game, by the way, also featured an online mode. So, okay, we haven't seen the, the squad-based mechanics yet. I don't know if we're actually going to see it or not. I don't know how long it takes before it takes before it comes into the game. But basically, when you go into a mission, you select a couple of squad mates to come into the mission with you. And the way you switch them is with a box-based mechanic. So when you're in, like, a hidey spot, his frequency is 148.41. So should we use that? Call. Oh, good. It's doing it all automatically for us. Good, good. So I can continue to talk. Uh, yo, Snake, long time no see. Anyway, when you're in a safe spot, you are you will hide in a box. And at that point, you can swap to different squad mates. And then they will all, like, stay in the box. And you can, like, run around and do stuff. And you can actually take soldiers that you capture in the field and drag them into your box. And after a couple days in the game, they'll actually be, like, brainwashed into, like, now helping you. So you can actually, like, capture dudes and, like, put them in a weird box and then they become on your side. It sounds really weird. Also sounds a bit like Snake is a hobo because it sounds like he lives in the box. But um, anyway, this game also featured a lot of online uh, play. So the online was sort of like a third-person version of GoldenEye, basically. Like, it was like this. You run around, you just shoot other players rather than guards. Um, but interestingly... The online play can affect single player play because you can recruit and trade soldiers from opponents that you would beat online. You can also lose soldiers from your roster by playing online. So it's, it was kind of a neat feature, it sounds like. I mean, I can only say it looks like a third person GoldenEye. I've never played it, and I just looked it up a little bit before this video. So if someone out there actually did play this back in the day and you want to like comment down below and let us know kind of what it was like, what the experience was like, that actually be pretty cool because I can only go by what I've read. Um, anyway, I'm totally not listening to anything that he's saying. Like, man, like, not only are the cutscenes long, but, like, look! Oh, man, it's like reading a novel. I mean, Metal Gear Solid games were always kind of like this, but... Wait, is that it? Did I just pass the mission? All I had to do was, like, talk to those guys? Okay, and then we have a... Oh, okay, and now we, we have, like, more dialogue. Now I'm coming here to save Roy. Let's make up our own story. So Snake felt like he owed a blood debt to the young boy named Roy, the boy who had a heavily Swedish accent. That's how Snake knew he wasn't American. They decided to be the best of friends, and they would Owen Wilson and Derek Zoolander it up. Okay, first things first, we need intel. Did you get some kind of briefing before the mission? The first recon target we were given during the pre-mission briefing. Oh God, okay, blah, 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 blah. They have a long, intricate conversation, and later decide to attack a Soviet patrol base. Also, there was options for a supply depot and a prison, but that wasn't on the table. It was the Soviet patrol mission that they were most interested in. There were lots of options they could pick. Many of these options made no sense to them. They decided to manage things, but that just brought them back to the map screen. They realized their error pretty quickly and went back into the screen. They wondered what a report was, and a status. They looked at the status. It also seemed to do nothing. Wait a minute, you should be using Circle. Oh yes, thank you Snake for remembering that. A lot of things were on the screen, but very little of it made sense. They were annoyed that Circle was the OK button and X was the Refuse button, when in most other video games, it's on the PlayStation, X is the Accept. Under Log, they found nothing. They then went to the Manage. And they got to see a spot where there was an open place for another team member, which Gaming J had just talked about. But alas, they were not able to add someone. Why are there no other people to add, they wondered. But then they decided to simply go to the mission and take the Soviet mission. They wondered if maybe they'd find an ally there. Oh, but damn it, they pressed X again. And X annoyingly uh, quit them out of the thing. Start the mission? Yes, go ahead. They finally figured out how to start the jeep and drive to the Soviet base, where they would no doubt find new allies for their strange, friendly adventure. They didn't really know why they were killing terrorists. They just felt like it was the thing to do. 
Hope I didn't annoy you guys with that really long diatribe there. Anyway, we're getting a call. We're on to our next mission here. Um, oh my god, it's like so much dialogue. This game should be called Cutscene! Now with some gameplay features. Alright, here we go. Um, and once again... Oh, a weapon that can obliterate all major cities in the motherland. Who's saying this? Give me a break. You've been watching too many movies. Okay, can, can we skip this? Okay, we're, we're, now we're getting into, like, the soldier's backstory. Soldier A was named Mikal. He had been trained since a boy in the outskirts of Mother Russia. Blah, 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 blah. Snake snuck up behind them and uh -oh. clobbered them. Oh, he threw one into the other. Man, did that guy, did I knock them unconscious? Hold on, let's see. Oh, man. Can I clobber the this other guy? <laughs> HQ. This is HQ. Ah, no messages to HQ. Oh, look, I've got him. Hold on. You can totally pick him up. Here we go. All right, this there's no, nothing HQ. Don't come out. Okay, what what do we want to do with this guy? It's hard to like walk with this guy. All right, here we go. <laughs> yeah. Let's oh uh, let's dump his body over this ledge so he dies. We're, we're totally doing it. Here we go. <laughs> and we got some ammo for that. Because we probably just killed a man. Alright, so you can pick up bodies. That's totally awesome. Alright, let's uh, walk over here. Who's that? Oh my god. Damn it. He saw us. Damn it. Go to, go to sleep. Don't go to sleep. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, I don't think he had time to call for his associates. So we should be okay. So I do like in this game, they give you a second. So it's not like as soon as somebody sees you, you get caught. Uh-oh. But there's a guy right... Oh, there's a lot of guys running over here. Shoot. Oh, my God! Okay, let's just beat him up. They can't spare any reinforcements. Oh, my God. Fight, fight! Ah, there we go. Did we get him? All right, we just successfully beast moded our way through. So I think we just beat up everyone everyone in the level. Okay, I, I don't know what we were supposed to do, but I'm going to say that Red Cobra 1, bad guy 0. Here, you know what, actually? Let's make sure that some of these guys are just permanently asleep. Let's go ahead and uh, do that. <laughs> All the stars went away, and now the Zs happen. Interesting. Like, is he shooting darts? It sounds like he, like we just if you sh if you shot a guy point blank in the skull with a sleeping dart. I mean, I I guess it would. I guess it would zonk him out. I don't know. One of the guys woke up. Okay, so where are we trying to go? Luckily, I have found the exit on the previous levels. Like just by accident but like oh man how do, how do I climb uh, no nope, that's jump no nope. there we go there we go all right let's try going in here let's see what we got Ooh, there's a ladder Ooh, okay now now we're really into it rations oh yeah rations let's uh, totally heal did that heal me no, maybe he was just hungry. He just needed a snack. Okay. Is there anything worth doing down here? Oh, look, there's kind of a map. I don't see an exit point, though. Maybe I have to go up and try and get on top of the building? All right, well. No, don't abort. Oh, my God. I hate that. Oh, wait, did I just abort? Ah! <laughs> oh, that was so dumb. Oh, I, I, I legit hate this X and O crap. And like, why is no over here, but okay was over here? It's like they're not consistent with their yes and their no's. It's, it's kind of annoying, actually, I will say. I, I'm, I really don't like the menu system in this game. I feel like it's done very unintuitively and the, the buttons are a little poorly chosen. Um, and I'm standing by that. I don't care if you guys say you get used to it. I'm standing by it. I'm allowed to dislike any control scheme I want. It's a free country. 
Um, do you guys think, by the way, that Metal Gear Solid would make a good candidate for, like, a movie? Like, would it be a good franchise to, like, make the translation to the silver screen? I mean, I always thought, like... I mean, Metal Gear Solid was created because the creator uh, of the game, Hideo Kojima, was a huge fan of, like, American action movies. And he, like, was trying to make, like, his version of an American action movie. So, like, I think I think it would actually would make, like, a good candidate. And it's got, like, lots of spies and potential for, like, action and all sorts of stuff. Um, okay, so let's do this. We're going to go over here. See if we can get them both real quick. What happened? Oh no! He's like, hey, what happened to me? what happened to you? Damn it! What the fuck? Oh my God! How did they not notice us? There we go. We got them both. All right. That was like the sloppiest assassination attempt ever. Is the red cobra really that that intimidating? All right. Now they're both sleeping together. Not not in a not in an inappropriate way. They're just having a power nap together. Okay. Let's try doing this. Let's see what happens if we climb this. Can we climb this? Can we can we climb this? Yes, we can. All right. Ooh, smoke grenades. I will take that. that. Oh, he can he see us? What the? Oh my God. <laughs> HQ. This is HQ. This is patrol. The Damn it! I think he sees us. Oh no! Position. He he sees us. Gonna hide. Gonna go into stealth mode. All right. Oh, God, with the camera angles, <laughs> so hard to see. Um. Anyway, yeah, I thought this game would always make. I always thought Metal Gear Solid here would make like a good franchise for like a uh, a movie. I mean, I I thought that uh, Halo would as well. And for a long time, they were talking about making a Halo movie, but like never materialized. I mean, it's hard to tell though. Like, I know that like the Warcraft, the World of Warcraft would would also seem to be like a really good franchise for making movies. But, you know, that movie was like a hot mess. Oh my god. I knew I had no health, but. What's wrong? Your circuit's gone dead. Give me a status report. <laughs> I, I, I know when you die in Metal Gear Solid, they go, Snake, Snake, Snake! I feel like that is just more iconic and more fun than, like, what happened? Your thing went dark. Give me a status report. I love the, like, Snake! There you go. We gotta watch this cutscene again. Is there, like, any way to skip it? Okay, oh my god, with the phone calls. Like, why would you call Snake when he's in the middle of battle? Maybe have this conversation before he gets into battle? Maybe? A weapon that can obliterate, blah, 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 blah. Can, can we go? Also, like, I don't know about this, like... He's obviously shooting tranquilizer darts, because, like, all these guys just go to sleep, but they don't die, but I don't know about that. I feel like if I were Snake, I'd want, like, a real gun. Like... You know, why is Snake all of a sudden getting, like, uh, getting, like, uh, you know, kind of careful with killing people? And we put this guy to sleep, too. <laughs> That's hilarious. His friend, like, literally passed out, like, right in front of him. He, like, didn't even notice. All right, let's stay in first-person mode for a second here while we take out this, this fool here. So we're gonna... There we go. All right. So this place is pretty much clear now. Oh, with the camera angles... There's something down there, though. What is this? Is it like a med pack? Rations? Okay, I don't seem to need rations. Rations, I guess, fill you up. Um, let's see here. Uh-oh. Did somebody see me? Did somebody see me? Like, I can't even tell somebody saw me. Okay, let's try and sneak around, then. We'll be sneaky about it. I don't even know where that guy was. Oh, my God. I'm here, we're gonna beat you down. That's who I am. My name is Mr. Fists. I'd like you to meet my friend, Mr. Kicks. Oh my god. Like, like who's shooting me? I can't even see. He's gonna run in the direction of the bullets. There you go, General. Alright, so there's only like four guys on this level. It's not that hard to just... Oh, a secret DOC thing. Is that all I needed? Good, I found the thing! All right, let's actually pay attention to the story for a second. Looks like you've obtained some enemy documents. Good work. Uh, hoof it back to the car. We'll take a look after... Okay. Oh, is that that's it? Okay, Snake, about those documents you found just now? Find anything interesting? You're not going to believe this. Try me. It seems the rebels are actually planning to activate that new weapon they stole. 
The documents outline a detail of launch plans, but it looks like we don't have much time. No way, they're in the middle of negotiations with Washington and Moscow. Even assuming this launch plan is real, it's got to be a bluff to strengthen their hand. Maybe, but they exterminated a, uh, us Green Berets, uh, their own comrades, without mercy or remorse. I don't think they're too particular about means to their end. Hmm... I hope it turns out I'm raw. I'm worrying too much, but if they're serious about this, it could ignite a global crisis. I like how Snake is just staring there. He's got like dot dot dot. He's not saying anything. Do we have a clear picture of what's going on here? I think we should assume the worst. Better to overact now and laugh about it later. Of course, overreaction is the key to victory, as I understand it. Now continue this interesting conversation later and just tell me what we need to. Oh man, he's like telling me his like mom's maiden name. It's like it was Jean. Blah blah blah. Okay, let's check out the supply depot, because why not? Your task is to find the soldier there who harbors a grudge against Gene. Pay attention. Once you've found a promising candidate, capture him. Got it? Okay, so here's where we can finally start to build our squad. So I'm excited that we finally actually uh, made it to this point. Hoo! By the way, so this game takes place after Metal Gear Solid 3, but it kind of has dubious canonicity. So the creator of Metal Gear Solid, Hideo Kojima, was on this game as a producer, but it wasn't like a game that he wrote. Hold on, we're going to scout for soldiers with grudges against Gene. Listen to what the enemy is saying. Then once you found someone right for the picking, grab and bring back to the truck. The best time to get them is when they're alone. Once you've got an enemy alone, knock the sucker out. Now there are several ways to knock an enemy out. You can shoot them in the head <laughs> or you can put the nice chokehold. Um, here's how to actually get a chokehold. First, unequip your weapon so that you're barehanded to unequip a weapon. Okay. And then quietly sneak up behind the enemy. Push and hold the square button to get him into a full Nelson. Once you've got his arms pinned, repeatedly tap on the square button to choke the sucker. Sooner or later, he'll lose consciousness. You can also pick the enemy up and carry him around when you're barehanded by holding the square to move his body. Drag the unconscious back to the truck. That's it. Go get him. All right. We got to find somebody who doesn't seem to like this fellow Gene and then forcibly abduct them. And they'll forgive us for the induction uh, abduction because they're not a big fan of Gene. So that's the gist of it here. And then we'll finally have a squad. Uh, but anyway, Hideo Kojima was... Let's just take this guy. Like, why are we, like, messing around? Huh? hey -o! And how... hey -o! And then we, like, tap. No. Oh, my God. All right, well, whatever. We got him. It wasn't pretty, but we got him. Come on. Capture him. Like, I can't even figure out how to, like, choke this guy. And then we, like, tap. No. Oh, come here. Okay. There we go. Now we're just going to, like, do the... <laughs> I'm choking him out, if you can believe it. Um, lose consciousness, buddy. Just, come on. Lose consciousness. What is happening? Oh, he, he is unconscious. Okay. So now I can, like, drag him back to the track. Oh, the camera angles. Here we go. Let's just get this guy. I hope you don't like Gene. Oh, they killed me. What's wrong? <laughs> Your circuit's gone dead. Snake! Snake! I'll do the snakes for you guys. Anyway, Hideo Kojima invented this game, Metal Gear Solid. But he, uh, he was only a producer on this particular entry. So he's basically gone on the record as saying, like, it kind of exists in the canonicity, but it kind of doesn't. So it must be difficult to like create something and then have like a company like own it, you know, like you don't own it, but a company does. That must be difficult. Oh my God. Wait, come here. Do you, do you, do you not like Gene? Okay, we got him. Let's just, you're coming with me, buddy. Don't worry. Everything's going to be okay. Gene's not going to hurt you anymore. Just come with me very slowly. Don't, don't fight it. Don't fight it. No, wait, wait, wait. Get up here. Don't worry. I'm just going to gently dump you, your body over here. Did I kill him? Medical kits. Just going to gently dump you over the ledge here. No. No. A every direction I hit, he just walks away from the ledge. What the hell? Okay, here we go. We finally got him. Okay, I another complaint I have about this game is that the controls are, like, not great. They kind of suck, in fact. But this guy is now on our team. We have just captured him. I'm going to name him Chad. Oh, and I love Chad. Look at me hold him there. We captured a dude. Chad doesn't like Gene very much. Uh, I suspect this capture may or may not work. I really did not vet this guy at all. You. Your name is Chad now. 
Don't worry. You heal up pretty quick. <laughs> Your name is Chad and you hate Gene. What are we roughing him up? We're like assaulting this guy. He's not gonna wanna join our team, guys. Okay, called Salt Snake. This is my friend. He is very long winded about things. Help us. Um, okay. He's giving us tips, I guess, about killing Gene. And it's going on and on. We're giving him like a lot of backstory. We're like telling him about our dad, this guy. And he's like, don't worry. He's like, all right, you've convinced me to betray everything I've ever stood for. Let's do it. We're all going to be on the same team. We're coming up with cool code names and uh, interesting costume ideas at the moment. Now we've we've shook hands. Man, this is this is how you do it. You indoctrinate your enemies. Um, cough, cough. Okay, Snake, what's the plan? You sure you're all right? He's got a cold or something like that. All right, now that we have a comrade... Uh, we've done the supply base. We've done the prison. What do, what do we do, need to do now? Okay, hold on. Oh, the comm base. We haven't done the comm base yet. Don't tell me you're planning on going alone, Snake. Oh, no. Okay, we have to press X to bring up the manager. And then we have to go in here. Uh, and then we have to bring up a, a dude. How do we do this? Okay, our new dude is named Jonathan. And we are going to take him. And we are going to put him there. Ah, oh, finally! Oh, man. This menu system is actually, like, super confusing. It takes a while. So we have a prisoner. We have all the prisoners that we've got. We have all our rookies. We have independents. We have people who are healing. We have technical units, spies. And then we have our actual team. Took a while. It took me longer than it should have to figure that out. But like, I guess once you get used to it, it's not that bad. But like, man, it is not not great. Um, I, yeah, I'm just I don't know what it is. Like the menu, like the buttons. Just every time I go to press a button, it does the thing opposite of what I want it to do. So all right, we're gonna go into the com base. This is it, big boss. Campbell's sick. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but his symptoms look like a form of tropical malaria I've seen before. Notice that they're calling me big boss. They don't call me Naked Snake. I'm now the boss. And uh, that will actually become my villain name in the later video games when I become Big Boss. Even though this is technically not fully canon in Hideo Kojima's uh, perspective. But yeah, it must be rough to like create something and have like a company just take it over. Wait, wait, wait. I was not paying attention there. What did it say? Detail malaria's treatment methods. We need to use a satellite in the communications facility. Okay. So... Hold on, no. Oh yeah, we want the comm base. We want the comm base. Okay, so we'll say yes to that. Yes, go ahead, launch us. We will find a cure for your malaria, Campbell. I don't know what we're doing. We've recruited some guy to like help us like solve medical problems. All right, they're gonna tell us how to swap dudes. I wanna play this last mission as our buddy. Uh, good, you made it inside the comm base. They're probably beefed up security, but you gotta stay out of enemy sight until you reach the communicator. Don't know how many more of these outbreaks I can take. We've gotta find a cure in soon. I know you can do it. So we've graduated from being anti-terror squad to just like making pharmacy runs for our buddy. Big Boss, let's go over how to switch team members. You won't be sneaking in alone anymore. We'll be sneaking in together as allies, as equals. Um, I thought that uh, going alone was the whole point of take sneaking mission. I know, uh, but uh, going in all at once would be very bright. We'll move in, uh, or wouldn't be. We'll move in one at a time and switch off as we get along. Okay, we'll hi have them hide nearby. After all, there's plenty of cardboard boxes in the truck. Finally! <laughs> oh, success if we see Snake or his buddy Jonathan here in a cardboard box. I'm used to hiding in cardboard boxes. <laughs> Uh, that, that's like a staple of solid. You can't have a solid snake game and not have a box. When you want to switch off with another team member, press the start button to bring up the map screen, then select member change. Then it'll be prompted to select a hiding point um, where you can choose to hide. Finally, choose a team member to switch with when you're done. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, from what I've seen, there are a lot of soldiers around here dressed like me. I should be less conspicuous than you. I used to be a rescuer, so I'm pretty good at dragging people around, meaning I'm perfect for gathering new recruits, so make good use of me. <laughs> okay we're gonna have you drag so many people into a box it won't even be funny okay let's go with uh, member change oh again with the X go with member change here 
and we'll go with hide in point one and replace with Jonathan. And oh, what is that? It's like a, his logo is like a, a spitting marmoset or something. Um, wow. Uh, called on by Big Boss himself. This is going to be a great story when I get back. Get back to who? There's only three of us. You know, like tell Roy that I asked you to do something. That's literally just you doing your mission. I wasn't really paying attention there as to what he was saying. All right, so now we are a dude. Hello. My name is Jonathan. They call me Chad, though. I may have joined a cult. Or I might be. Come on, you're coming with me, buddy. You're coming with me. Everything's gonna be okay. Gene's not gonna hurt you anymore. We're all friends. It's gonna be okay. Hush. Hush. Okay, now we can just drag this guy back over. I wanna see Snake in a box. I wanna see him in a box. Is he around here? I don't I don't see a box. Alright, this guy's name is Chad2. Chad2 is just gonna get into our van. This is like literally like driving around like a conspicuous white van and like abducting people. Hey, we just captured a dude. Cool. I also have a machine gun. I'm not gonna equip it though because I wanna go full capture on this. I just wanna capture dude after dude. Oh, there's a guy right here. All right, we just captured our second, our second friend. We're just making a whole little <laughs> gang of of us. So this is how Big Boss recruited his army to begin with. That was creepy. The door just opened by itself. There's no one in there. I checked that room. It's creepy that it opened. Welcome to the A-Team, buddy. You're gonna love it. We have Taco Tuesdays. It's amazing. Gene will never hurt you again. Don't worry about it. All right, just abducting more and more people into our creepy white van. Let's get this guy too. His name will be Marco. We're gonna have three Chads and a Marco. It's gonna be great. Like he's not even like suspicious of us. Ah, come on, buddy. Yeah, don't worry. We're all on the same team now, buddy. Just you and me and Chad and Chad and Marco and Roy and Naked Snake. I know, I know the name. It sounds kind of weird, but trust me, there's it, nothing weird happens. He's totally cool. We call him Big Boss or Big Snake or Big Naked Snake. I know, I know. It's just kind of a, they're weird names, but don't worry. He's cool. Gene's not going to hurt you anymore, buddy. Just be quiet. It's going to be okay. Everything's going to be just fine. <laughs> and into the creepy truck he goes. Come here, my precious. Get in there. <laughs> I love how other people are a resource that we're just acquiring. Um, I do definitely, I, I got to see Snake in a box. I don't know why. I don't know where he is or what's happening, but we got to we gotta switch. Okay, you know what? I feel like uh, Chad here has done a pretty good job of clearing out most of the bad guys. So let's go ahead and change members. And we'll change right here. And we'll change over to Snake. So, oh wait, am I in a box right now? I feel like I'm in a box. I don't know how to change the... Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, hold on. Where, where was, where was Chad? Oh, there's a dude right over there. Okay, let's totally choke that guy out. Snake does not do the recruiting, though. So we're just gonna beat this guy up and leave him for dead. This guy is not... This guy is not good enough for our team. He's not... He's not solid snake material. Okay, seriously, though? Where was he? Oh, we can see him on the radar. Oh, he's over there. All right, he's behind us. Look, there he is! He's in box form. Can we beat him up? Look, <laughs> he's in the box. That is so awesome. All right, let's make sure that this guy does... Uh... Oh, wait, you know what we can do? We can, like, totally murder that guy. Because because uh... our other dude, he, uh... he has, like, a gun. He has, like, a real gun. Okay, so we're going to hide in point one, and we're going to switch to Jonathan. So interesting. So, like, you, your guys hide in this series of boxes around the map. So here's Snake. He's in a box. Huh. Just a box. Remember, that's what they would say in Metal Gear Solid 1. Okay, so he's got an actual gun. We're straight up, we're actually murdering this guy. There is no future for you with the Chads and the Marco. Here we go. I think he's dead now. Although, you know what? 
I'm kind of curious. Can we... Can we bring this guy into the truck? We got to try it, guys. We'll, we'll like, get back to the base, and Roy will be like, what have you got? I'll be like, five new recruits! And then he'll, like, open the truck and be like, oh, dear God, this one is completely dead. And we're like, ooh, sorry about that. Must have left him in a... Left him locked in the hot truck for a long... The whole afternoon. Probably roasted that one. Who's watching the truck, by the way? Like, if one of those guys woke up, where they'd be like, huh, ah, where am I? Would they make any effort to escape, or are they just like, well, I guess this is my life now. I guess I uh, live in this truck. Like, are they, like, that helpless? Is there anyone watching this truck? See if we can, like, put this guy in the truck. No, we can't. <laughs> okay, well, we're just going to leave him here. So if any of them do wake up and they get any any indication that they want to leave, they're going to open the truck. The first thing they're going to do is see their friend there totally dead. Be like, um, guys, maybe we shouldn't try to escape. Maybe this is, like, the one time we should, like, just chill and, like, be cool. They might gun us down. All right, let's end this mission with a snake. Looking around in my box. It, it is too bad that you can't actually see Snake when he's in the box. Like, you can't get a third-person camera mode then. It's just first person. So, okay. So what are, we, what are we trying to do here again? We're trying to, like, go up on the radar dish. They warned us there would be, like, more people, but, like, I definitely don't see anyone. There's only, like, two floors. Huh. Oh, and the X is like right over there. Ah, right, here we go. We can chat with paramedic. Two words, it's hyphenated. That's her, I think it's her, her last name. I think it's Gaelic. Um, we're all set, big boss. Everybody's here. So this family doctor of yours, is she that good? Yeah, you could say that. You could say she was trained as a paramedic. Whoa, Snake, you came all the way back to the communicator facility just for me. You must really want to talk to me, huh? Yeah, actually, I do. How do you cure malaria fever? Blah, 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 blah. Like, in the, like these days, if this wasn't the 70s, you could just Google this. But I think that completes our mission. So we have successfully grown our team up to a group of, like, five guys. Paramedic was saying we need some medicine to treat the malaria. Um, I know where we can find one, a hospital. Yes, there's a hospital in the sector of my formal squad, former squad patrols. But so now we know where there's a hospital, etc. Like, they could have just said that. They don't need to, like, go on and on. Let's check our dudes, though. So we have me and Chad. And then we have prisoners, porcupine, antelope, and flamingo. Those are so much better than Chad, Chad, and Marco. We're Oh, man, you guys have earned that name. Those are cool, co those are badass code names, man. Now I'm disappointed in Chad for, I guess his code name is Jonathan. Like, I don't think this guy was named by his parents, Porcupine, or this person, Antelope, or this person, Flamingo. These are clearly code names. That means that Jonathan is a code name. That's not his name, that's a code name. <laughs> oh, Chad. What a terrible code name. Uh, that's like having a code name Gregory Smith. That's not a code name. That's like somebody's actual name Um, it's cool that they have like little stats. So it's like let's see. Hold on. How can I do this? Uh, like this so you can see like okay, this is I don't know shooting and flamingo down there is an A and These guys they're all C's at whatever this is and like whatever like I don't know what these categories are But they have different ratings. It's cool. It kind of reminds me of like XCOM or something like that where now you have to like deal with uh your different soldiers. So can we do stuff to this guy? Hold on. Um, not, not that. Let's see. Hold on. We want to select this guy. Uh, no, we can't move them. So they got to stay in jail for a bit until they kind of get uh, brainwashed. Then they become rookies. And then eventually we can assign them to stuff. So yeah. Okay, cool. Let's, uh, let's hop into the last mission when we kind of wrap up here. The hospital. Uh, so there's a hospital. And let's just go do it. So, Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops, I would say is actually a really interesting addition to the Metal Gear franchise. Um, 
I do kind of like how there's this whole squad based mechanic to it and there's more than just Solid Snake by himself. I think that's actually the coolest addition to the franchise that I've seen in a long time. And I don't even hate this sort of radar, although I like Metal Gear Solid's better. But of course I did. It was like a far more descriptive radar. You could see guys around corners and see where they were looking and stuff. This is actually like a harder radar to use. Uh, one of my big complaints with this game is I do not like the third person perspective here that this game has. Like Metal Gear Solid's top down perspective was actually way better. It makes it harder to control, harder to be aware of your surroundings. And like the camera, the camera in this is actually pretty bad. Like what's interesting is like uh, again, I'm going back to the Arkham games because they definitely remind me of Metal Gear Solid. Like, they seem like a spiritual successor to Metal Gear Solid in many ways. But the camera in that game, like, follows you around corners way better than uh, this game does. Okay, hold on. Yeah, you're coming with me, buddy. You're coming with me. Don't try to fight it. You're gonna go to sleep. You're gonna go to sleep. But I think I've already, like, knocked him out, actually. Now I'm just getting weird with it. But alright, we got this guy. In Metal Gear Solid, you could actually break their necks if you kept doing that. Don't try to fight him, man. It's all good. Gene's not going to hurt you anymore. <laughs> Whoever Gene is. Um, in fact, let's just let this guy drop. I wonder if Gene has anything to do with the genome soldiers. Can like, Oh, not, not, that's getting weird with it. We're just going to pretend we didn't do that. But yeah, I feel like um, Arkham Asylum does the like third person Metal Gear Solid experience way better because like the camera does not follow you around corners and stuff properly it makes it really easy to get caught and like hard to actually sneak around so like it's it's a cool definitely a cool idea for a game they definitely have done it uh well for what it is but at the same time like I have some complaints about it oh let's beat up this doctor maybe can we recruit her can oh can, can you come and be on our team no we're just brutalizing this doctor here. Yes, oh, we can totally get a doctor. Oh, this is getting really weird. <laughs> the guard's like, what are you doing to that doctor? I'm like, trust me, man. I just want her to join my weird, creepy team. It's going to be great. There, There's a lot of people with awesome animal names. Porcupine, Flamingo, that guy's hilarious. It's great over there. Oh, I'm totally dead. If only I could get into a box on command. Hey oh, you'll never catch me. I need, like, where's my smoke bomb? Binoculars are not what I need right now. Let's, I guess, get our gun out and, like, get the hell out of here. Yeah, so ultimately, like, when it comes down to, like, this game is in the book, 1001 Video Games You Must Play Before You Die. And, like, is this a game that you must play? Um, I think as far as, like, portable Metal Gear Solid experiences What's go, wrong? if Your you can get used... Give me a status oh, interesting. You can just change when you die? Or no. Oh, we can change to Jonathan. Are we going to see Snake's corpse? Oh, that's so cool. So it's like now you have extra lives. Yeah, very, very neat feature. So anyway, this is a cool Metal Gear Solid for portable. I think the, the there are a bit of problems that make me think that I don't like certain aspects of it. But I do like some of the cool elements that they were adding. I like the, the squad. It's pretty cool. Also, I think it is pretty cool how... Um, come on, turn the camera, man. I think it is pretty cool how like your online play can like influence... Uh, what happens actually in the game and you can like recruit soldiers from people you've defeated online. I think that's actually a cool feature. So like ultimately, um, it's not a bad game, but I think the camera controls really are what would keep me from wanting to come back and play this. I wish it had a top down view. Um, and I don't know if I'll, I, I would get used to playing it in this third person mode. I mean, maybe I would, maybe I'd adapt, but it's like, I just, I, I feel like it's too hard to like see into these rooms and stuff, so. Come on! You're joining my creepy team! Trust me! This is not- this isn't weird! Stop making it weird! I'm just gonna abduct you. It's, everything's gonna be okay. Oh, I'm getting a phone call, too. Did you find the drugs yet? Oh, we're here for a drug run. Oh, sorry, buddy. I was trying to abduct doctors. I kind of forgot why we're here. <laughs> Take your time. Uh, well, there's soldiers here, too. Anyway, I'm gonna continue to fail at this mission. What do you guys think of Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops here? Is it a game that you played? Did you play it back on the PSP? And, we're, and and like, how did you adapt to the fact that it is third person? Did you like that about it? Like, am I making too big a deal out of it? Is it something you think I could get over? Or do you kind of agree that like it makes it kind of difficult to see around corners and kind of annoying at times? Let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear your guys' take on this game.
And as always, whether you agree with me or not, I hope you guys have enjoyed checking this game out with me. I hope we had a little bit of fun here today. I think we have. If you agree, you should go ahead and like the video so I know you agree. And you should go ahead and share this video with all your friends and family because, of course, what would be more awesome than having your mom watch the same gaming videos that you watch? Uh, isn't, that, isn't that what everybody likes? You know, having their parents on Facebook and watch and, and subscribe to the same YouTube channels that they are? Isn't that what makes things better? Somebody help! They've got Derek! They're literally carrying him to a creepy van! She's like running into me. They're both running into me. Do you guys want to join my creepy call? Oh, I think they killed her! Oh, I think they're shooting this guy. I'm using him as a human shield. Oh my god. Come on, save him! Save him! This guy's name will be Warthog if we do save him. I don't think we can because we're being gunned down. Oh my god. Anyway guys, until next time, take care of yourselves. Peace.